Imagine a battlefield where the soldier never bleeds and where robots push through minefields, open doors, disarm explosives, all while humans watch from the safe zones. Sounds like Terminator meets Indian Army, but not quite. Because it's real and it's DRDO's next frontier. So let's break down how India is building a humanoid robot soldier to protect its troops and why it's more strategic than science fiction. The research and development establishment under DRDO has been working for four years on a humanoid robot for military missions. We've developed and tested separate upper and lower body prototypes. The robot can operate in jungles and rough terrain, says S.E. Talole, Group Director of Advanced Robotics. This system is currently in advanced development and the targeted rollout is set to come in 2027. This humanoid is designed for direct human command missions, which are meant to handle explosives, open doors, navigate tough terrain, perform dangerous tasks, so soldiers don't have to do this. And look, this isn't your average lab robot. It comes fully loaded. It's a dual arm humanoid robot with 24 degrees of freedom. It has autonomous navigation capabilities, it can handle tools, comes with daylight and nighttime vision, and tactical decision making using real-time sensors and audio-visual perception. All of this is powered by a triad of actuators for movement. You have sensors for sight and touch and control systems for the brain. The toughest part is mastering balance and task execution for real time, says Kiran Akela, the lead scientist on the design team. And it's not just for the battlefield, because this humanoid has applications in nuclear disaster zones, search and rescue operations, industrial hazard response, and space tech testing. The future is already working because the Indian Army has inducted 100 Sanjay robotic dogs as a part of its multi-utility legged equipment, which is the MULE series. They're designed for explosive detection, surveillance, operating in chemical, biological, and nuclear environments, navigating stairs, hills, and debris-filled combat zones. Because these dogs carry up to 15 kg payloads, they can run for 20 hours and operate across extreme weather conditions, from minus 40 degrees Celsius to 55 degrees. And they're not just showpieces because they've already replaced 4,000 pack mules in the mountains. And behind every robot soldier, is a DRDO lab with a mission. The Center for Artificial Intelligence and Robotics is building secure command and control systems, tactical AI for battlefield decision making, cyber physical integration for autonomous platforms, and their notable products include a search robot, then autonomous navigation systems, then miniature UGVs, wall climbing robots, and even a snake robot for tunnels. And it also includes robot sentry systems, air defense command systems, and battlefield communication security tech. So CAIR is the AI core behind real-time terrain reading, autonomous mapping, and battlefield command systems. Look, they aren't just building robots, they're thinking systems that survive chaos. So this is more or less about building resilience, efficiency, and protection. Because India is now designing human-machine integrated formations, where robots scout, carry, and engage, while humans lead from safety. The goal is clear, which is to reduce risk, not operational impact. Whether it's IIT Kanpur's bipedal walker bots, or CAIR's autonomous mission bots, or even the humanoid coming in 2027, India's defense doctrine is evolving. From analog weapons to AI-powered teammates, India isn't racing to replace soldiers, but it's racing to protect them. This humanoid robot won't fire your weapon, but it will carry it through danger. It will scout hostile terrain and pull a teammate to safety. Because in the wars of tomorrow, intelligence, human or artificial, is the real weapon. This is Front Page by AIM TV, where we decode the future one byte at a time. Like, share and subscribe. And always remember, think AI, think AIM.